Welcome to the Ultimate Rig tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, I will show you how to take a character geometry and make it into an Ultimate Rig. Ultimate Rig is a tool that uh, is freely available. Basically, it creates a biped character rig or a quadruped character rig for you in seconds and it gives you the basics in order to be able to animate your characters. Now, it also gives you the basics uh, to retarget between characters, so it will allow you to retarget from a mole clip animation to your characters uh, instantaneously. So, um, if I go, if you have loaded the mole clip plugin, you can go and create ultimate rig. And now the create ultimate rig uh, window will pop. And now all you need to do is say uh, you need to first create an ultimate rig. So what kind of rig would you like? You can say biped or quadruped. Just uh, for the sake, I'll show you uh, the quadruped rig. So this is the basic uh, quadruped rig that you can use to put onto your geometry. Could be a dog, a horse, uh, an elephant, or whatever. Um, or I can create a biped ultimate rig. There you go. And now this rig can be tweaked and made uh, to fit your characters, your biped characters, as long as they are in T stance. So let's just uh, import a character here. My Ian character here. So this is my guy, and now yes, it, it pretty much fits, but it, you can see that there are some, some places that it doesn't quite fit. So what you do is uh, to manipulate the ultimate rig. Like right now, the ultimate rig is not processed, so uh, you can still move things around. Um, and you should always concentrate on moving everything on the left side of the body, and the rest will uh, will follow. And here in the options, you have this, all the symmetrical edits. You can turn that off if you, your character is not symmetrical. Um, but you can you can also change the shape of the blue geometry. So right now, I'm gonna just take my my character and add it, add him to a layer, and make him reference so I don't pick him by accident. And then all I have to do is to place um, the different part body part in there and I can actually scale you can use whatever mean you want um, basically what you're looking for is to put the joint pivot at the proper position in the body so right now let's say I'm gonna take this guy I'm gonna bring him down that's the shoulder that's the actually it's the clavicle I'm gonna bring that guy a little bit up and then I'm, I don't need to bother about the other side of the body right now uh, because it's always symmetrical. So I can just bring in, bring scale this down. And right now I'll go, I'll go quite fast just uh, for the sake of this tutorial. But uh, yeah, you can, you understand the principle that you can move things around. Now what you can do also is uh, to change the shape of these. Um, of these manipulators. So right now I'm gonna fit the head, the mouth, and the nose, and I'm gonna I can bring down the eyes. And I can actually fit the geometry here. Um, so I'll just do it roughly for now. And whenever you want to change the shape of a um, of a body part, you just need to press uh, down and left. Uh, so this will select the the shape, and then you can go in component mode and just uh, change um, change the, the shape of your geometry. Now for the middle the middle body parts um, um, the symmetrical edits are, is enabled like this but if you want to you to do it on an arm for instance well then it's a special setup that makes the other side also uh, being modified at the same time so you can tweak your character like that and now let's go back into object mode and I'm gonna I'm gonna place the legs correctly so the legs would be someone like this and then I can bring back the legs like that and then I can scale that up a tiny bit alright just 
to fit the ankle. And then I can take that and bring it like this. All right, obviously I can scale everything up as I need it. And then we'll go down and left and I'll select these guys and I'll scale them up. Now the better you fit the blue guy to your ge geometry, the better the skinning will be uh, will be automatically uh, transferred from the blue character onto your own character. Now that this is done, make sure your characters are uh, well placed on the ground uh, facing the Z uh, positive axis and in perfect T-stance. Now perfect T-stance is quite important if your character has this arm down or something now the retargeting might not work as you expect it to be so try to be as much as in T-stance as you can so now all you have to do is to select your um, select your geometry that you want to bind now if you have multiple geometry object you can pick them all and anything that is in the selection will be smooth bound so all you have to do is check the processing options so if you want a prefix you can put it change left right um, if you want to smooth skin the selected geometry yes and then do you want to create an ultimate rig which is going to allow you to animate using the ultimate rig and do you want to keep the manipulator geometry and the, the, all the blue pieces will become manipulators and this is the way we are working uh, here so if you don't like that you can always turn it off turn it off and create your own manipulators whenever you're ready you just click the process ultimate rig button so now I can uh, the way the manipulators work is that you click directly on the jump on what you want to animate so if I click on the arm and the arms are IK well then I can animate I can move the arm if I click on the hips for instance then I have access to uh, the hip manipulators. If I click on the leg, then I have access to the leg manipulator, like such. If I click on on uh, on the locators for the pole vectors, and you can see that the skinning is pretty decent at this point. And I do have a little bit of stretch and squatch in there, so that is working well. And see, that is working as I expect it to be and if you want to animate the shoulder you just click on the shoulder so now that that's great okay where if you want that to be automatic it, you can do so and what it does in the background is it also set up the character retargeting now if I open that window um, you'll see that the current character is the ultimate rig uh, that we've just created and then here I can specify that it, it is biped and then what it has in there is all the different nodes are being uh, specified in there so the ultimate rig knows exactly what is what in your in your rig so you also have all the fingers and everything and you also have the, the these are all uh, rotations only uh, but at the at the bottom here you have the IK uh, uh, IK nodes. The ultimate rig knows everything about uh, all the nodes in your character so you can retarget from a character to another. And then when you're ready you can actually make sure you have the t-stance loaded and you can when you save you save all the the nodes you've put in there and you say also save the t-stance so I can cl just click that button uh, whenever I'm ready and then it's going to just update itself. So this is really important. If you have a character that is not an ultimate rig and you want it to become an ultimate rig, you can just map all of these uh, on your own and then your 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 character will become uh, compatible with ultimate rig. If you uh, need any more help, you can go into uh, the, the online help and in there you simply need to go to the ultimate rig manual and then you have uh, all the uh, answers about how to uh, work uh, with the ultimate rig for your characters or or make your characters into ultimate rigs if you need any more help you can also go to the discussion forum 
and in there you can uh, type in your questions and ask for uh, the community to answer so thank you for watching this uh, tutorial hopefully you'll have a good time uh, using MoClip and the ultimate rig tool